Okay, I'd like to show you another type of a cutting tool that we use in the workshop. Uh, odd shaped tool. Um, this is called a coping saw. Uh, to cope is to cut very uh, circular shapes. Shapes like you'd find in uh, little jigsaw pieces. This is a tool that would be capable of cutting that out. As you can see, it's got a very slender blade, very easily broken. So use it as lightly as possible. It is adjustable. It has a handle that unscrews. When you tighten it up, it actually tensions the blade for you. You've also got to make sure that if you pick it up on camera, the blade can rotate. So when you've got very tight radiuses, very small circles to cut, you can actually adjust your blade to suit the angle that you're attempting to cut. But what you must do is make sure that those tangs always align with one another. Otherwise, you're in effect twisting the blade. So having lined up the blade, I'll tighten up the handle. Only finger tight, just till it locks up. Right, this is a piece of MDF. It's a sheet material. And this is the tool that we, you would use to cut shapes out of a sheet material like this. You wouldn't use the coping saw to cut something, a bigger section like that. It's just not capable of doing it properly. So, put your sheet material in the vise. I'm just going to mark a simple shape to cut like that. Lock it down in your voice as low as you possibly can. You don't want it high up, otherwise it'll chatter as you try to cut it. Now you can't see your line, but what I'm going to do, I'll adjust the blade and I'll move the blade slightly onto a little angle like that. Just check that everything's lined up nicely. I'm happy with that. Okay, and then I'll start my cut there. Nice and gently. Now because I've set the blade on an angle, I can probably complete that cut almost in one go. So we'll give that a go, see what happens. Put some pressure on the timber, keep it, stop it from bouncing. Nice and easy. Gentle strokes, follow your line. As you follow your line, actually turn the saw to try and follow your line as much as possible. Keep the pressure on it. Ease up at the end. So there's my shape. I've cut it out in all one go, and now I might be able to just clean that up with a little bit of sandpaper.